What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today it is time for the great debate. Cartridges versus converters. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know if that movie music is copyrighted. Uh, so cartridges versus converter. Land of time, beginning of time, people constantly debate these things. Some people are die hard cartridges like this guy here. This happens to be Pelican Edelstein Inkavir Amethyst from a little while ago. Um, some people are die hard, die hard, ride or die. <laughs> Can I say die anymore? Um, cartridges and some people are ride or die converters. So clearly this is, uh, you know, Pelican and this is Platinum, so they don't mix well together. They're, they're both proprietary, but um, by the end of the day, still same thing. So there's pros and there's cons to both. Pros of a um, cartridge is that it already comes with the ink in it. All you got to do is boop right in the back of the pen and you are done. Um, that's it. <laughs> So the biggest, biggest, biggest pro of a cartridge uh, filling system is that it, it is convenient. Uh, you can travel with these and it just makes your life so much easier. Um, whether it's the long one like this, you can get short ones depending on which pen you have. Um, some can take both, some can only take short. Um, but yeah, it, it means that you can take a lot of ink potentially, like I mean, you know, you could, I mean, this is just happens to be one container, you know, but you got one, two, three, four, five, plus I've used one. So you got six of these um, that you can take with you and it holds a lot of ink. I mean, unless you're going for like a year, you're going to be just fine. <laughs> so it holds a lot of ink, um, especially if it comes in a nice little tin like this, you know, toss it in your bag, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about leaks. Uh, about glass breaking. You don't have to worry about making sure that you get a bottle. You don't have to check it in a uh, bag. You can take this as a carry-on. So even if you have a plastic bottle, this, the smallest plastic bottle I can think of is 30 milliliters. I think, I know you can get a 15, but it's not in plastic, it's in glass. So then you have the breaking issue again. So you don't have to worry about it. They're very airport friendly. Um, I have traveled with many, many of them in my carry-on before um, across the world. So many different airports uh, from you know North America, Asia, Europe, doesn't matter. I've never had any problems with them. So that is, is good there. Uh, downside to these is they are more expensive than bottled ink. So clearly, if you look at a, a cost of a bottle, it's, you know, you're looking anywhere between $7 to $100 plus, depending on what kind of ink it is. Um, so bottles can be expensive, but these per milliliter end up being more expensive than bottled. Um, so if you're going through these a lot, then... Uh, it, it does technically cost you more money, even though if you're just buying a couple, um, then you know you do save money by comparison to the bottle. So it depends on, on how many you're gonna go through. Um, if you really only have one fountain pen uh, and you're just kind of getting into the hobby, then maybe you know picking up something like this might be good for you because then you don't have to worry about um, the things that come along with bottles, which we'll talk about. Um, so that's definitely that uh, there as well. Um, with cartridge or sorry converters in a pen like this, which is the Platinum 3776, uh, benefits to the converter is that you can use whatever ink you want. Um, I mean, technically you could use even like India ink or something like that, but don't do it, it'll ruin your pen. Um, <laughs> you can use whatever ink you want. So you can switch between inks to your heart's content and you only have to have one um, adapter here, kind of, or not adapter, um, converter. It cleans out, you can refill it with a different color uh, and, you know, be on your way. So you don't have to carry, you know, additional ink with you. Um, if you're at home or you're just like going to the office kind of thing, um, then you can have loads of different inks. Um, I like to use samples a lot more than actual bottled ink because I tend to change the colors a lot. Um, and I like to constantly experiment with ink. Um, so for me, a cartridge 
uh, doesn't really work that well for that because you have to buy at least five or six of them. Um, whereas I prefer to get like, you know, two to four milliliter samples um, and have them in a converter so that I can do whatever I want, basically. <laughs> um, so you definitely get a wider variety uh, of choice with a converter. Um, you know, you can also share them across multiple pens. So, you know, if you got maybe like five or six of these, um, then, you know, you can only have to have really like, you know, a couple converters, if, unless you're gonna use all your pens at the same time. Um, you can get pens that have standard international converters, so you can use them across different brands. Um, whereas, you know, these two, it depends on the company you want. <laughs> depends on the company you want. Some of them are proprietary, some of them are not. Um, so it just gives you a lot more flexibility with a converter. Um, you buy it one time and you pretty much will have it for a decade or more. Um, so you're good to go. Downside um, is that you have to maintain it. So the thought process behind these is you use it, you use all the ink, you take out the converter, uh, I'm sorry, the cartridge, you throw it away and you pop in a new one and you're good to go. With these, um, there's a little bit more maintenance. So you do have to clean them out if you're switching colors. Um, even if you're not switching colors, every few fills, it still recommends that you flush it. That'd be really the same with a, a converter or a cartridge anyways. Um, but you do have to clean these, whereas a converter, uh, sorry, cartridge, I'm mixing these up, you don't. Um, so there's a little bit more maintenance. Uh, if you travel with them, then clearly once you run out, you're up the creek. Um, you know, whereas these, you can just pop a new one in and call it a day. Um, so you do have to then worry about taking ink with you somehow. So be that a bottle, be that little vials, whatever it is, traveling ink well, you have to find a way to bring ink with you. Um, so I personally <laughs> prefer, uh, cartridge converters, which is what this is, um, in a day-to-day -day scenario. Pretty much 99% of the time I use a fountain pen, I'm using a cartridge converter. When I travel though, I do switch to these. Um, so I don't really use these very much at all. Um, but when I travel, I do bring cartridge, uh, cartridges and I don't bring a converter. Sometimes I'll bring a converter that's filled with ink and then once I'm done it, I just pack it away and switch over to these um, because I don't like bringing ink with me in the traditional sense of like either a bottle or a vial or traveling inkwell or whatever. I much prefer just the like tidy packaging of this, especially because I never ever check a bag. I only ever bring a backpack wherever I'm going, regardless of where or how long. So that's what the way that I use it, I think, and you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below, I think that's the way most people tend to use them. Um, I know when I first, first, first got into fountain pens, uh, I stuck with cartridges for a little bit. By a little bit, I mean like a month. <laughs> um, just because I didn't want to invest in a whole bottle. These are a cute way to, to test out an ink if you don't want to invest in a whole bottle and for whatever reason, you can't get a sample of it. Um, so, I mean, I can think of some Mont Blanc ink. Some retailers don't give you samples of Mont Blanc ink, um, but they do then sell cartridges. So take your pick, uh, do your research. But in general, that's why people debate them. Um, I think there's a place in, t you know, in time for, for both. Uh, but typically my preference is the cartridge converter. But let me know what yours is uh, down in the comment section below. Are you like me? You pretty much just use cartridges, uh, cartridge converters, but you use um, cartridges every once in a while. Are you on the cartridge side of things? If you are, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, really, just let me know anything in the comment section down below, but stay nice. <laughs> <laughs> guys thanks for watching this great debate with me uh thanks for liking and commenting hit that subscribe button if you want to see more every monday and friday the occasional q a in the middle of that somewhere and as always i'll see you next time bye bye guys